out of children and innocents. They are murderers, they're killers, they're ruiners, they're predators, and they are cowards. They're liars. Well, not according to the liberal trendies. Uh, they believe it's a sexual preference and that this is something they should be able to do. Yeah, well, you know, if I considered everybody's opinion like that, I wouldn't know myself. Okay? No, I hear you. And and listen, I'm they are super depraved. They've done everything. So their new religion uh, is is being able to do things like this and go after people. And, guys, I just banged the table and lost my audio. I might just caused some kind of weird short, and, and, and I barely banged it. Probably all the earlier banging. Maybe I get another headset. Man, I'm going to put you on hold let you finish after the break. Mama, stay there. I want you to be able to finish uh, your story. But I've lost audio in here. I could probably just plug into one of their, their plugs over there. Uh, but uh, I was banging a little bit too hard earlier, and I may have just gone a little too far uh, here uh, doing that. But we're going to go to break, come back, finish up. Uh, no, no, not yeah, yeah, Mama, then Augusta, then AD, then Dave, then Frank. That'll be it for calls after those five, six callers because I need to hit the other news. But this, this, this perverted stuff isn't just in the Catholic Church. Report British Prime Minister David Cameron stuck his genitals in a dead pig's mouth. It's not very nice to put your genitals in Hillary Clinton's mouth, David Cameron. We'll be back. Stay with us, InfoWars.com. Yes, will the world continue to live in the shadow of atomic fear? And will we disappear? U.S. will station new nuclear weapons in East Germany against Russia and moving more brigades of troops in to, quote, train the Ukrainian opposition forces. Meanwhile, it was going to be just four fighter jets at one base. Now it's 28 combat planes in Syria. As air raids are run against Al-Qaeda, ISIS, Western-run forces. Caught on video, black teen punches racist bus driver in the face for demanding a fare. I'm going to play some of that coming up because it just illustrates how they've created total divide and conquer. The judge has come out and said the clock kid family could be charged with fraud if incident has proven purposeful hoax. Gee, he just came with something that looks like a classic suitcase bomb. And then wouldn't respond and say it was a clock or anything to create hype. And the White House was waiting. I smell a big, giant, stinking rat sandwich. I don't know what you smell, but you'd have to be a moron not to see through this. And I hate agreeing with... have fantasies kids belong to the state and by the way we're gonna do things to them i mean it's just it's total domination your women and children belong to us because <laughs> we have pot bellies and little chicken necks and lecture you and we run the universities. <laughs> I'll get you and your little dog too. Wait till I dump a gallon of water on you. I'm melting. I'm melting. What a world. Excuse me. Mama, I'm sorry to hear that you got abused. Well, you, you, you got cut off. Go ahead and finish your point. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, Alex. And I love that you bang your table so hard. Um, but, you know, these, these pedophiles, they, they don't see their prey as children or innocent. They only see a piece of meat, you know, that they want to devour entirely. They know nothing or care nothing of real life or real love, okay? Um, also, the... Uh, the pedophile promoter puppet Pope, he should be in jail. He has a, an arrest warrant out for him uh, through the international courts that have found him guilty of crimes against children and people. You know, this, these criminals just flaunt it. And I'm well, so absolutely. Throughout history, special every time a civilization falls, cause it's not normal, but it, it shows up over time in every civilization. That, that, that PBPs, potbelly pedophiles, show up and what they want to do is abuse children. They want to sacrifice them. They want to torture them. They want to rape them. And they want the energy of the child. 
and it, it just arrives every time, and now they're going to sell it as a right and a great honor. Uh, and then now we're going to hear the announcements of how great pedophilia is and bestiality and everything else. And again, it's not just that they're going to have sex with their donkey or whatever at their house. Poor donkey. It's that they're going to push it on us. See, it's about, it's about making us... You're like, I'm not attracted to a donkey. Well, we don't care. You're not trendy if you don't let us teach your kids about it. Uh, because if they can teach you about uh, bestiality, which is now being promoted, then anything. I mean, I mean, it's like the National Post a few months ago in Canada, the big national paper, and I appreciate your call, ma'am. They came out and they said the trans-abled chop their arms and legs off. It's very beautiful. I would tell people about this and they didn't believe it. But now they want the state to pay for you having your arms and legs chopped off and then you're on welfare and you're tended to by the state. Uh, and then you're, you're, and then other people come by that torture you. There's different fetishes, but I mean, I knew about this over a decade ago. And then you, and you're tortured, and you like to live in a box and wear a diaper, and you're tortured. I'm sorry to talk about this, but your children are now being taught. And then they're going to have basically uh, in the future little, 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 little baby carriages that the school has in the in the special ed area, and they'll wheelchair around the kids that have had their arms and legs cut off because that's part of the culture, and they, mommy and daddy, I feel like I want my arms and legs cut off because that's what they'll be taught in school, and they'll go and have their arms and legs cut off, and then they'll also be the kids at school that have their their their, their pot-belly pedophile uh, uh, mentor that'll take them off, you know, to a, a nice facility where a bunch of, you know, old men will hang over your daughter or your son, and that'll be a, a good thing, and if you don't like it, SWAT teams are standing by. So... And you're going to drink fluoride, and you're going to take force inoculations, and you're going to die. And there's just going to be people dying everywhere, just frolicking in Satanism, and giant PBP command bases everywhere feeding on our children. So PBPs are taking over. And I'm not even being sarcastic. Black boxes and everything, taxing you, scamming you, gang raping you, uh, chem trailing, geoengineering, atomic testing in the upper atmosphere, total insane asylums, mass drugging of populations, just... This is what evil is. Welcome to planet New World Order, baby. <laughs> and see, I'm not crazy. I'm in the enemy's mind. I know them. I, I mean, look, look, when they announced 10,000 refugees last week, I said, it'll be a couple hundred thousand in the next few weeks. Now it's 300,000. And I'm not bragging. I'm saying I know how they operate, okay? I mean, Hillary Clinton, from our deepest research, likes to dominatrix women. Well, that's grown women. I mean, that's her, that's her issue. I'm not attacking her for that. Her wanting to take Haitian children's money for her private jets is wrong. Her wanting my guns is wrong. Her wanting to shut off our power plants is wrong. Bill Clinton, though, crosses the line. He likes to rape women. And I don't like guys that rape women because they like to rape other people, too. They like to dominate. You know, that's how you could tell Gore Vidal had a screw loose because he wrote in books. I've read some. He's a very smart guy. He'd been on the show before he died. He was a listener. But he said all sex is about power and domination. And he wrote books, you know, about trannies raping men. And, you know, you know what, Gore Vidal, something's wrong with you. I bet money he was abused or something as a child. That's my opinion. Because it's not what sex is about. It's not about power. And if you think sex is all about power, then something's wrong with you. And, and, and see, that's where the divide happens here. There's people that want to empower humans. There's people who want to dominate humans. Well, I'm in the camp that wants to dominate the tyrants. I don't want to dominate the innocents. The problem is the average person who's in the camp of wanting to have free will will not dominate the tyrants. And so they get dominated. And so that's the paradox. Those of us that are for free will are for empowering, but are in the camp of wanting to dominate the tyrants are few and far between. And that's why the enemy has set up the screens and systems in the culture to try to dominate us before we get off the ground. So decide which camp you're in. Are you in the camp that likes to empower people or are you in the camp that likes to dominate people? And that's where the paradox is of the sheepdog, which I didn't get from American Sniper, folks. You're not a wolf, you don't want to feed on people, but you're not a sheep. You're a sheepdog. You're someone who's in the pro-human camp, but you're not someone that's going to be pushed over and enslaved. And they trained 
the sheepdogs how to submit to tyranny and to not want to dominate the wolf. And, and where are people's instincts when they see a group of bullies picking on an old lady, picking on a young person, wanting to do something against them? And then they, they try to get the sheepdogs and their whole anti-bullying campaign to end free speech. When nobody's more bullying and controlling than the left. So I'm not in the camp of submitting to tyranny. I'm not in the camp of wanting to tyrannize people. I'm in the camp of wanting to empower humanity and to absolutely stomp tyrants into the ground. And so... All of you, I beg you to hit your knees tonight, hit rock bottom. I know I hit rock bottom all the time. It's good to humble yourself and ask God, get me back on the straight and narrow. Help me be strong. Give me the discernment I need to understand what's happening. And then give me the spirit it takes to not want to lay down to these tyrants. Because believe me, it's an animating spirit. The average person I don't think can handle being a good person because the responsibility that comes with it is so empowering. And most people are dead inside. That they sleep while the Illuminati live. AD in Delaware, thanks for holding her on the air. Thanks, Alex, uh, so much for this show today, man. I'll tell you, this is the this is the Pandora's box opening. You know, when they when when Henry Vincent came out with that book. That was the blood dripping on the floor that's going to bring about Hellraiser. I mean, in my opinion, I mean, I shake with anger when I think about this. But when you think about Herbert Walker Bush, Cheney, George Bush, Barney Frank being in the same building, Operation Brown Star, raping children, orphans. This man has documented this stuff. And then you're looking at 411 Vanish, where people go to Yellowstone. Tens of thousands of children disappear every year, not every decade, but every year. And then they want to mentally torture us with some Pope. Come, Have you ever read the Jesuit oath, Alex? Yes, it's pretty evil. It is beyond the scope of humanity to think that these people walk around in pajamas with their solid gold staff and whatever, what do they we get a Pope Mobile? Listen, we've heard decades of rape coming out of the Vatican. The Vatican's got thirty trillion dollars of our money. Everybody Geithner and everybody puts their money over there. The bottom line is I want people to understand that this is the Bizarrean Zionist mafia at the top, the Umbra, the deepest, darkest, the worst evil on the planet who have had six Seven, eight heart transplants. We don't even know how old they are. But this is the one, Alex. This is the clash of the titans. They called our return. You know, I talk to troops. I don't talk to too many police. Man, let me tell you something. These guys, these kids, they are bent. They're so broken, they can't even remember what... I'm telling you, Alex. They gave them opium dope. They gave them narrow... No, I know. I hear you. I appreciate your call. My whole issue is I don't want to make this about Catholics or Protestants or Jews. It's evil people at the tops of major organizations promoting bad things. Um, but it is very, very fr Joe Biggs is on record. He was in Esquire. He was in Rolling Stone. He was you know, off and on for three years, uh, had Michael Hastings embedded with him. He was in longer than that, but for three years, Hastings was embedded and wrote about because he was in a combat unit. And Joe said they would order him as a staff sergeant, and they would have Russians deliver it. People go, that's not true. No, look, Russians deliver supplies to Afghanistan. They just stopped it two weeks ago. They had a 10-year contract where they were delivering the supplies as ordered uh, via hind helicopters, under helicopters to the troops. And he said Russian helicopters would land, in it, and they would be ordered to take opiums to prime them to get them on heroin later. And uh, they had Army psychologists and psychiatrists that would make them take you know, the most powerful pills and order them to take it until they got addicted. And then they would basically then try to declare them unfit to own guns once they got out, or they would then take away the opiates and a bunch of his unit would then go get on heroin that's right next to it. Oh, sorry, for a year we put you on pain pills and you got another year to stay here. We're taking the pain pills away. I mean, it, it, it's not even hidden. You talk about a major scandal. And that's what they did. And, and you know, my... Mom's brother, who died last year, uh, was a helicopter pilot in Vietnam. And he wouldn't talk about all the classified stuff that went on. And I'm not even going to get into it either because I was told some of about family.